My mom would come out, she just kind of went into tears. I try not to talk about, you know, possible deployments or stuff like that around her because she does have a problem with us being away. My Achilles heel is my kids. I'm going to be super emotional when it comes to my kids. It's just that one place that just gets me every time. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. I hope everyone is enjoying their day and I have a few updates for you guys in regards to the death of Garrison Brown. As days goes by after his death, Garrison, the son of Janelle and Cody, there's still so many questions fans have of everything leading up to this horrible tragedy. So many things were told on air during the last few seasons of Sister Wives and there was a lot of things that some of the kids were struggling with off air. So new details surrounding Garrison's death are in from the actual police report, and this will absolutely blow your mind. So Garrison had three roommates that were willing to share their timelines with everything in Garrison's state of mind as well. Tyler, Cheyenne, and Addison spoke with the officers. Addison stated that he had conversations with Garrison about him being depressed. He stated that Garrison drinks every night. Addison, who is a guy, by the way, also says that he and Garrison spoke the night before he took his own life, which would be Sunday, and he appeared to be intoxicated, but nothing raised any red flags. He also says that Garrison was having problems with his ex, and he was not a happy person. Cheyenne, the other roommate, claims that she would have deep conversations about his depression and drinking. Also, a source close to the family says that Garrison tried reaching out to his dad, Cody, for a fresh start, but was ignored due to his, and I quote, state of mind was being unsound. As I shared part of the police report yesterday from you all, it stated that Janelle said that Garrison was estranged from his dad. In a recent Patreon, McKelty also states that Garrison was back in communication with Cody, also mentioning Madison and her husband, Caleb, doesn't speak to Cody anymore without giving great detail. So with McKelty making those claims, of course, I assumed that Cody and Garrison were back on good terms. So now the real question is, was this something that the family knew he was struggling with? Is it something that maybe was hitting or was it a subject of conversation? Was it something that was maybe off limits to talk about? The love for Garrison and the love Garrison had for his mom was bigger than no others. And maybe he didn't want to disappoint his mom, which we all know Janelle is the most supportive parent that there is. But him and his mom a bond that couldn't be broken. I feel like it was Janelle's mom instincts that she could have known that something was wrong and she didn't have an opportunity to address it. Also, if the claim is true of him actually reaching out to his dad, Cody, but unsuccessful, if that's true, that can mean that his alleged alcoholism wasn't unnoticed by a family member. Of course, we can all speculate Going off of just these police reports, this information given from the roommates is all just from their perspective, their opinion or their point of view of everything that happened. We can't really say we can just go based upon that and we can gather what we think should have, would have, could have happened. But unfortunately, it ended this way and I just wish there was something that could have prevented this from happening but there's been a lot of resources out on different sites and I will link one of the resources for um, suicide prevention below if anybody wants um, resources on that. But tell me how you guys feel about these new details in the comment section below. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel, like this, share it so you won't miss out on any updates. Bye for now.